Good evening, gamers. We're going to be playing some The Night of the Rabbit today, which is a point-and-click adventure game that I've had for a very long time, and I've had my eye on for a very long time. I think I launched it maybe once while I was in college, but then I didn't have a chance to really play it, so I never got past the first screen. I don't remember anything about it, but... It's apparently very good. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? Hopefully the volume and everything is okay. The music so far has been good. I really like the art style, it's very cute. Let's, uh, let's start a new game. Wait, what's this? Bonus collection. I shouldn't have anything in here. Audiobook. There is like a deluxe edition that you can buy for an extra like seven dollars or something Canadian and it promises to come with audiobooks of like 160 hours or minutes. God, before I misinform, I'm going to go back to it. Let me take a look at it because it was impressive. Yes, 160 minutes, not hours. Jesus Christ, that would be insane. 160 minutes, eight audiobooks with the soundtrack, which has 41 tracks on it, and a game comic for the deluxe edition, which I don't have. But let's go back to the main menu. Resume. No, not resume. Start a new game. Oh, I believe this is by people that made Deponia, the Deponia series, which I have all of those as well, so those are on the backlog. But let's, let's start a new game. Let's do the Night of the Rabbit. I do wish to start a new game, thank you. And so it begins. By getting flashbanged. My apprentice's finest hour. Am I the apprentice? If only I had been there. I could have prevented it all. Well, old man, maybe you should have. You should have been there. With your tattered cloak and fine top hat. Okay. This is an. So I am this rabbit. Can't get a very good look at him, but I am this rabbit can't access an inventory of any kind. I can talk to the figure. Now we just have to fight. Even if you lose yourself, beginnings can be found anywhere. Does that mean and you... What? A what just happened? Endings on the app, do you understand? No. Weren't you listening? Oh well. I have a feeling you will understand much sooner than you think. Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> did you hear something? I did. The fog must be playing tricks on my imagination. No, it was a cute little guy. It's gotten cold, don't you think? Follow me. Oh, oh. Maybe if you used your legs, that would be easier. I don't see anything else I can click on. I don't think I have like a hold to interact button. But let me follow you. I can't right click, not right click, double click to like move faster. There's your beginning. It's really lucky you stumbled upon me. I don't think you would have found your beginning all by yourself. Ah. Okay. You look familiar somehow. I am, in fact, a rabbit. 
Have you seen a I'm rabbit sure before? We shall meet again. Probably. Unless the fog thickens more. I can't see the hand in front of my face already. Okay. We don't want to follow the cute little guy. It looked like he was having fun. Strange fellow. He reminds me of a character in one of my old tales. I hope he finds his way. Not even I could say where he'll end up if he doesn't. Or when, even. So, let's help his beginning along a bit. Ah, this beginning rhymes. I must note it down right away. Okay. Rhyming beginnings? Daedalic Entertainment. After a long summer day in a place not far away, Jeremiah Hazelnut was tucked in bed to dream of the dream that he always had. Each night to his mother, Jerry did say, I want to be a magician one day. And each night she would reply, as mothers do, One day, sweet son, your dream will come true. And as mothers do, she whispers, Good night. Soon Jeremiah Hazelnut would sleep tight. Jeremiah soon, Hazelnut is a hell of a name. Dreams sometimes do. That's incredible. The dream that he had would come true. I like that he has the uh, the roads carpet, but instead of cars and buildings, it's just sheep. It's just sheep. It's very cute. Oh, the rabbit's just watching him sleep. I just noticed that. That's not creepy. I suppose it is the night of the rabbit. Jerry! Jerry! The uh, rabbit's taken uh, him. Nope, yeah? not yet. What do you want, um? Wake up, sleepyhead! Oh, oh no, I, I, am I gonna be late for school? Come outside and enjoy the sunshine. You don't want to sleep away your whole summer vacation, do you? He does. Summer vacation? Jerry, school starts the day after tomorrow. You don't have to worry about your things until then. I still have two days before school starts. Hell yeah. I've still two whole days of adventure left. Haha. <laughs> Adventuring? I thought you wanted to be a magician. Like we do every day with our morning calisthenics. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. Lovely. What on earth is this? You calisthenics. should sit playing all day long. The crows must have overdone it yesterday. There's not a single one in the sky this morning. What a beautiful day. Crows? But don't just sit there and rust, or you'll just make it easier for them tomorrow. Okay, follow my lead. If Following. you don't want to listen to our program, then go ahead and start your day any way you like. Imagine a small X floating in the air. You can click on it to drop out at any time. Oh, I see. Wow. When he says it like that, I can practically see the X floating in front of me. <laughs> but why Very would funny. you want to drop out? What? You think you already know everything? Yeah, smart Alex. Touch the radio. Imagine a mouse pointer. Move it to the radio and then click with the left mouse button. Okay. I clicky. Good job. Well done. Thank you. I'm very <laughs> good at this. Play. You can tackle anything just like that. Looking, talking, using, running around. Just click on it. One cool. click. Everything is just one I click. I see a carrot yeah, I'd yeah. like to take. Is this a sales presentation or what? Now, let's try it again. This time, talk to the radio. Yes, that thing where the voice comes from. Talk to the radio? Once again, just click on it. Talk. I'd like to say hi to my mom. Um, I'd like to say hi to my mother. Young Mr. Hazelnut would like to say hi to his mother. You did very well. 
How did Thanks. he know that? But how? Yep. One click. Everything is just one click. Did you notice how your muscles and sinews stretch when you click on something? Doesn't yeah, totally. It right. feels so good. I These morning, morning calisthenics, calisthenics are really getting it. You're probably thinking for me. I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. Yeah. yeah it's good. And you know what? Stretchy. What? You can. Ooh. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. And on we go. Some things can be looked at and picked up. That's okay. good for the back. So keep looking at things and picking them up. Okay. Now find yourself an object to look at. Hmm. How about that basket on the window, sir? You already found something to pick up? Go ahead then. Take it. That's the way. That's good for the back. You are now carrying the basket. You open the inventory Wonderful. by scrolling down with the mouse wheel or by pressing the I key. Man, oh man. Now let's try it again. Have a peek in your inventory. Doesn't that feel good? Ooh, the inventory, inventory system looks nice. You can carry a lot more around in here than you'd think. And carrying objects around is healthy. You can also look at them. To do that, click on them with the right mouse button. Oh, it's a different button this time. Oh, nice basket. Hey, looking with the right mouse button works really well. Oh my looking god, I can right use my eyes. Works really well, doesn't it? Absolutely. And now we'll try the left mouse button. That's Use picking the it up. Mouse button to take items See, I'm learning. I learned Let's so fast. Pick it up. Oh, oops. The handle fell off. That isn't supposed to happen. Normally, you would just pick the basket back up. But oh, you don't fucked up. panic. Remember, there are no problems, only challenges. You're bound to repair that basket in no time, for sure. Use the left mouse button to select items in your inventory. That will allow you to use them with other items in your inventory. Ah. Use one of the items with another one. That will get your circulation going. That's not what we were going to do now. Hope you didn't pull a muscle. Just open your inventory again. Remember, there are no problems, only challenges. Cool. You're bound to repair that basket in no time, for sure. Use the left mouse button to select items in your inventory. That will allow you to use them with other items in your inventory. Use one of the items with another one. That will get your circulation going. Okay. That belongs on the basket. Yeah. That belongs on the basket. There. That one. Oh, I thought hard. I was going to pick it up True. and then, like, it drag easy. it over. And do you notice how your pulse is calming? Feels yeah. good to repair something you broke, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And now for the next step. Left click on the basket and then carry it out of your inventory by moving it past the inventory's edge. Throw it on the Very floor. Very good. Try showing the basket to a beloved family member. Hmm. Who should I show the basket to? The mailbox. I think your mother is hanging up the laundry in the meadow in front of the house. Man, he's I good. think my mother's about to wow. lose that laundry. As if he's talking to me. Use your basket with your mother by moving the basket to her and clicking the left mouse button. Okay, whatever you say. Oh, Jerry, as you've got the basket. Yeah, and I didn't break it at all. For blackberry pie. Of course. Why does it skip oh, inventory or skip dialogue? Check. I hate that it does that. You've completed your fitness program for today. And remember, a simple leg cramp could cost you your life when you're fleeing from a wild crow. Good to know. Huh? What's he talking about? Stay fit, stay cheerful. Mousewood Radio now continues with the leaf fall report. Mousewood Radio? Huh. Never heard of that. It must have something to do with sunspots. Maybe. Take the carrot. I'll take one for later. That's supposed to be good for your eyes. And an adventurer like me needs to see everything. Yeah, just shove it in there. Hmm, strange. Footprints. A large animal must have run through the carrots under my window last night. Yeah, it totally I wasn't just was watching you at all. It wasn't mammal. a fully grown adult man that looks Ever like a rabbit. Ever since I became a junior member of the Jungle Explorers Club, my theories have sounded a lot more convincing. Have they? So much expertise for just 50 cents a month. Oh, that's actually not bad. It's a weathered statue. We call that old rock the dwarf. Mum says it's been living here since long before we came. Okay. Please keep watching out for us, old dwarf. Wait, what did I just put on there? Oh, there was something there. Oh, strawberries. 
Take some. Oh, just eat it. Mm, sweet and juicy. Jerry! I'm okay, Mum. I won't eat them all. What? Jerry, I just want to remind you to pack your things for school tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do it. I thought you said I had two school. days. <laughs> I thought you said I had two days. No, I want some strawberries for later. No, don't eat them. Mmm, sweet and juicy. Jerry! How dare you? Okay. What? Jerry, I... Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, how School. dare you? Huh. Uh, <laughs> mailbox. Empty. I think Mum already picked up the mail. Okay. I don't think I would have any mail. I don't really want to talk to Mom. Secret stash? No one's watching. No marauding kids in sight, and also no sign of the gremlin wolf. <laughs> As usual. I'm sorry, the what? My secret stash. The gremlin wolf? Uh, what the fuck is a gremlin wolf? Like magical tools could cause in the hand of a lesser magician. The whole world would be in peril. I'm sure it would. Jerry Hazelnut, you take whatever's in your stash what and you put it right in your pocket. Here? And my gold coin. Let the adventure begin. You're just hiding firecrackers? Oh. Ah, better not leave it open. You never know. Don't want the gremlin wolf to pick up my scent. Yeah, that'd be terrible. Okay. There's red currants. There's a kite that's stuck. Get some red currants. Oh, 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 they look delicious. You're gonna hurt yourself, but you should get them anyway. Blech. They're sour. Blech. Why do red currants always trick me like that? Because Blech. they're just sour. It must be the bright red color. It sucks that you, you, like, we can put a carrot in our inventory, but we can't take the strawberries or the red currants. What about the nest? Blech. Sparrows used to live in that nest. Hmm. Maybe we'll have eggs next spring. Maybe. Uh, dry rain barrel. Dry as a bone. Hasn't rained for weeks. That's unfortunate. Summer. Let's go inside. Uh, my school stuff is in there waiting to be packed. Yeah. But adventure awaits out here. At least until lunch. And at three, there's a new episode of Future Dogs. Four-legged time travelers. Future dogs? I want to watch that. We're definitely going to come back to watch that. Uh, save. Save here. Yes, overwrite it. Perfect. This is a nice menu system. I like it. I love the visuals. They're very nice. Like, they're very charming and nice. Dr. Pep? Who dumps that trash here in the woods? Probably those marauding kids. Oh, unbelievable. Really unbelievable. Dr. Pepco. So that's home. Uh, I can't count the times I've got a splint to try and climb it. Well, that's not that bad. It's not the end of the world. Like, it's a shock and it sucks. It's not the end of the world. Wait. No, I'm not done. It's so quiet here. Like the town is miles away. It probably is. Take the stone. Whoa. What am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? Just I put it in your backpack. Fine. Put the stone... In the circle. Yeah. I'll put the heavy rock back. That's really hard on the arms. No, I wanted to put the rock in the mushroom circle. Okay. Well, I'm not back here yet. Or, I'm not done back here. And then we'll come back deeper into the woods. I wanted to see everything in here. Comfortable, lazy bones. It's a statue. Acorns. I don't know how to get any of those acorns. Mom says people put up these little animal statues a long time ago to bring luck to hikers. That's cute. I think cute. there were more of them a couple of years ago. Oh, people took them? That's fucked up. Why would you do that? The owl's wall. It goes all the way to the big tree in the woods. Nice. 
Let's look at the edge of town. Uh, the town looks so grey again today. When I was young, there was nothing but fields here as far as you could see. No, but seriously. Oh, little Since hedgehog! Since built the supermarket next to the school, it looks even worse down there. School. With only two days of summer vacation left. Then I'll be stuck down there in a classroom again. Now that's an even worse thought. Uh, although, that means there's still two days of adventure left. True. Okay, this is cute. Sometimes I think the statue looks greedy. Other times I think it looks needy. I probably need to take an acorn Wonder from why. up there and put it in that statue's mouth. For something fun to happen. It looks oh. so satisfying. It's a little bunny. Okay, so we can't go to the edge of town. Thorny bush. That prickly bush thinks it can keep me away from the juicy blackberries back there. Someone should teach it a lesson. Ow! Ah, you win this round, Brandon Bush. Oh, right. I need some blackberries for the pie, but I can't get them yet. I don't think I have anything in my inn. A coin with a hole. I have a single match. A decayed firecracker. An empty basket and a crisp carrot. Let's find where we can put this stone. You can draw really well with these chalk stones. I think I'll take one. Nice. You never know. Now I have some chalk. Crumbly chalk stones. If I hadn't already taken one, I would now. Okay. Where do we put this heavy round stone? I heard there used to be an old trail here. Maybe that's why we call this a path tree. Anyway, this is now a dead end. Okay. I always used to sit on this rock because it felt like I was riding a great big animal. I'm too old for that now. Okay, so take this stone. Whoa, what am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't carry it very far. Well, you can carry it as far as here. I'll put the heavy no. rock back. That's really hard on the arms. No, uh, you dumb child. Pick it up. Okay. Fine. I don't know what to do with it yet. This stone would make a good picnic table, but unfortunately the pond smells so fishy in the summer that you can't eat anywhere near it. Not even a bite of blackberry pie. Oh no. I used to fish for tadpoles here. The water actually looks pretty clear, but sometimes it smells just awful. You were just killing tadpoles? That's fucked up. Those could have been frogs. I'll take that. Okay, circle of mushrooms. Hmm. One of my books says that mushrooms only grow in circles in special places, near entrances to the realm of the fairies. But it also says that fairies can be really, really unfriendly. Yeah, your book's not I'm wrong. Not meeting. Your book is not wrong. Old path tree. Okay. A stick won't help here. Fine. A stick won't help here. Fine. A stick won't help here. A stick won't help here. A stick won't help here. Or where will it help? Uh, maybe in the blackberry bush? The owl's wall. It runs between the trees. Okay, I can't walk up it at all. Pond and wall. Whoa, what am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? Can you I put can't it, carry it very far? The old path tree? I'll put the heavy rock back. That's I guess really not. not. I don't know what to do with that yet. I can't interact with the bridge in any way. Used to be a path here. Charge defective. Blasting impossible. <laughs> okay. I need to fix that. Uh, 
I have the feeling the order isn't quite right. Okay. I put this in here. Uh, I have the feeling the order isn't quite right. Okay. I'd better not scribble on that. The order isn't quite right. That's not worth my last match. Okay. Nah, that's not a good place for the can. Nah, that's not a good place for the can. Nah, that's not a good place for the can. Okay. Nah, that's not a good place for the can. Nah, that's not a good place for the can. It just said that the order was wrong, but that is correct. Interesting. I need an acorn from up there. Can I use the stick on the bushes over here? Um. A stick won't help here. Okay. Can I just take ah, the blackberries? There are blackberries back there, but this brambly bush is in the way. Okay. Can I use this on the bush? All right. I have no other choice. Ah! No bush can stand between me and Mum's blackberry pie. A fatal mistake. Okay. And what did I just pick up? Some rose hips. Okay. They look like they can't wait to be picked. They go into the basket. Okay. Why does a spider have to make its home in my blackberries? Maybe it's planning to lure very picky adventurers into a trap. I bet that it is. No way. You can't fool Jerry Hazelnut. Not much gets past Jerry Hazelnut. Can I use the stick? Good idea. Now it's off. Lovely. They're screaming to be picked. Take them. They also look like they need picking. Take them. Okay, we have a lot of them now. Can I then use this? A stick won't help here. A stick won't help here. Okay. I thought it would be like stick with spider web on it. So that I would have a sticky stick, I guess. A stick that is sticky to the touch. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Ha, I could do this in my sleep. Whoa. Nice. Look how many I got. <laughs> Not bad. That stick is very versatile. Okay, I picked up some acorns. I can't get these. Three acorns and some rose hips. Can I give the fairies some acorns, maybe? I'd better keep it. Fine. Fine, let's go give mother the blackberries. Maybe she'll instantly make pie. Now I've got a whole basket full of raspberry blackberries. Mmm, this should earn me the first and biggest piece of blackberry pie. Mom! Yes! I got the blackberries for you. Thanks, sweetheart. In that case, you can have the first piece of the blackberry pie. Otherwise, Yay. I would have eaten all of it while making you watch. W wait a sec. Only the first piece. I'm the biggest, Jerry. And so the hazelnut family narrowly escapes a diplomatic incident. Wow. Huh? A magic letter. What was that? Get it. You better Something's get in it. There. Whoa. 
Holy cow. Okay. Okay. Be brave. You're as fine. This is not a gremlin wolf. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's I never anything to be afraid of. Coon. Very careful. <laughs> oh, you bitch. What was that? Did it go the in my in? Flew into my yeah, it did. Okay. A flying triangular letter? And there's no return address. Let's uh -huh. see what's inside. Mom didn't see there's it, a weird obviously. There's symbol and a poem underneath it. How he made a carrot flame. After drawing on rock, a symbol all in white. Grinding white to powder makes it right. Then add black in turn. The kind you should be loath to burn. Black and white, as they combine, the inside of your vessel line. Then three more things. Tree skin, tree fruit, and lastly but not least, a root. At the crossroads, draw a circle with the powder mix obtained. Put the vessel in the center of the powder ring, thus gained. Set the circle bang on fire. The carrot flame leaps higher and higher, and I will swallow it in haste to enjoy the lovely taste. It's a weird fucking rabbit, dude. Okay. Fine. We go. So I'm gonna need to put this on the stone. The stone is too slick to draw on, and I don't want to put it away yet. Okay, what about this? An excellent place for me to draw with the chalk. I will draw the symbol from the flying letter. Okay. There. Up, squirrel. How cute. Oh, that one fell. Poor thing. It almost seems like they want to tell me something. And now they're gone again. Hmm. Well, there's something it in looks the like circle. They left something by the mushrooms. Go get it. Strange. The squirrels left a piece of bark here in the mushroom circle. I Take it. Take that. And then give them. I'd better keep it. Okay, fine. Don't give them the acorns. You shit. Um. I could crush the chalk under the heavy stone. Yes. Where should I do it? Here. Crumble chalk on rock ledge. An installation by Jerry Hazelnut. Do it, Jerry. Oh, what am I supposed to I can't. That's really hard on the arm. Bam! It pulverized the crumbly rock. Hell just yeah. Like the poem described. Perfect. Cool. Now I've got fine white chalk powder. Well, you do. It feels good in my hands. Okay. So I have to put it on the rock? That won't do any good. That won't do any good. Mix it with this. Okay. Powder Fits. mixture. Bark won't be much help here. There's a weird symbol in... How, after drawing on rock, a symbol all in white. Yes. Grind, then add black in turn. The kind you should black and white as they combine. The inside of your vessel line. Then three more things. Trees at the crossroad. Set. Okay, inside of your vessel. The can is my vessel. Then tree skin. Also in. Tree fruit. Rose hips are cool, but disappointingly useless. Okay. Tree fruit. And now I need tree yep. root. A stick won't help here. Ah, uh, where do I get tree root? From this tree, maybe? I heard there used to be an old trail here. Maybe that's why we call this path tree. Anyway, this is now a dead end. I'm not sure where to get the root. Circle of mushrooms. Pond. Ch 
chalk quarry. It might have been on the previous screen. I can double click to move fast. That's nice. Small prone statue. Ugh, I can't. He just talks about splinters. Oh, there's roots here. But I can't grab them. Mum always says I should be careful not to get lost in the woods. Then I always say, hey, I'm 12, and I know the woods like the back of my hand. Although I must admit, it's pretty spooky in there after sunset. Mom, I'm 12. I know what I'm doing. Okay? I'm an adult. Obviously. Except I am an adult and I don't know where to get this fucking tree root. Um, A stick won't help here. Do you need to put the carrot in? Okay, now everything is in. Oh, everything's in? Everything is in. There's a weird simple. How he. After drawing on rock, then add black, black and white, add then three more things tree skin, tree fruit, and lastly but not least, a root. Oh, add not the a tree root. Just draw a circle with the powder mix obtained. Put the vessel in the center of the powder ring, thus game. Set the circle bang on fire. The carrot flame leaps higher and higher. Okay. At the crossroads. Maybe in the mushroom circle? I don't think there was anything in the letter about throwing away cans. Well, I wasn't trying to throw it away. So far, so good. Now what? A stick won't help here. A stick won't help here. Uh, no. Where am I supposed to use this? I don't think there is anything in... I don't think... Here? I don't think there is... I don't... No. I don't... I don't... Said at the crossroads, which is here. I don't think there. Where else would I draw this symbol? Here? a weird symbol how he made a carrot flame okay. after drawing on rock a symbol all in white grinding white to powder makes it right then add black in turn the kind you should be loath to burn black and white as they combine the inside of your vessel line then three more things tree skin tree fruit and lastly but not least a root at the crossroads draw a circle with the powder mix obtained put the vessel in the center of the powder ring that's game. Set the circle bang on fire. The carrot flame leaps higher and higher, and I will swallow it in haste to enjoy the lovely taste. Okay. One second, let me let my cat out and then we'll decipher that. A staple of the stream is letting my cat out. Um, I don't think I set it on fire yet. But where do I use this? I 
I don't think that. Well, yeah, don't throw it away. There's the wall. Oh, here we go. Okay, that should do the trick. There's actually a spot called Forest Crossroads. Okay, and now set it on fire. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's start a forest fire. Only you can start forest fires. Incredible. Take the hat, take the hat immediately. The trunk came out of nowhere. It's well, you an summoned impossible it. Impossible trunk, and I conjured it up. Yes. Yeah. I knew it. Practice makes perfect. Practice does make perfect. Honestly. Hazelnut is nuts. They said. There's no such thing as magic. They said. They'll all eat their words. Well, too bad no one else saw this. Too bad no one that made fun of you before was here. Take the hat. Whoa, holy cow, what? Again? Man, oh man, magicians really need nerves of steel. Yeah, stick your hand in there. Whoa, holy cow. Come on, pull yourself together, Jerry. Come on, Jerry Hazelnut. A raccoon. <laughs> or a magic message. Stick your Whoa, hand in the hat. Holy cow. All right, I'm not reaching in there with my bare hands. Fine. Hmm. It's packed. Full of equipment for a magic show. It says the Great Zaroff on the poster. The is Great Zaroff? It's top hat. Yeah, probably. Okay. Take the poster. The Great Zaroff. Experience the greatest illusionist of our time. But it doesn't Hell say yeah. when and where the show is. How strange. The it's all the time and too. everywhere. I wonder if the trunk here belonged to Zaroff. I'll just take one of his posters. Take it. Oh. There's a rip in the lining of the trunk lid. Finish well, ripping that a shit. Rip is no big deal. That's Pull easy it. to repair. Uh oh. Hey, Take there's a the magic wand. wand in the lining. It always looks like somebody hid it there. That's ours now. That is our property. Okay, take your stick. Mm, no. What a weird top hat. Fine. Impossible trunk. Various stickers. Wow. This trunk has been a lot of places. Timbuktu, Hong Kong, Raven Hollow, even New York. Ooh, Raven Hollow. That's cool. Fine. Take the take the magic wand. Top hat. Top hat and magic wand. Pull right, a man-sized rabbit out of that been hat. For this for years. So Abraka. Abraka? Man sized rabbit. Man sized rabbit. Was it a good treat? Did you like that? Was it good? Whoa! You <sighs> Zaroff. It's been. Decades since I last drank a carrot flame. Ah, permit me to introduce myself. I am the Marquis, the Marquis de Hotel. You're not Zaroff, then. Oh, but you're, you're, you're... Cuniculus Sapiens. Yes, indeed. Man-sized rabbit. Oh, oh, well, I'm Jeremiah. Jeremiah Hazelnut, the boy with the dream. I know much more than that. Your summer vacation ends the day after tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> Unfortunately. Mathematics, leaky pens, hard wooden benches, dry chalk dust. Yes. You human children are so brave. Yet you dream of more. The murmur of the leaves in the wind. Ah, it reminds me of home. Does it? Where's that? My home? It's where I'm remembered. Yes, but where exactly? I can... I can scarcely remember. What? Jerry. 
Jerry, tell me, what's your greatest dream? To be a magician. I practice magic tricks in my free time, but... Oh, that's point. I want to be a magician. I know, for I am a magician. Okay. Beloved, feared, needed, and extremely brilliant. I'm sure you are, man. Will you be my apprentice? Yes, in what? a heartbeat. Absolutely. Mom, a Travel giant man-sized rabbit wants me to be his apprentice. Beyond the boundaries of the imaginable. Study the five fiery mantras of the Phoenix Conjuration and master every single facet of magic. Well, not all of them, perhaps. Not all of them. It's not the death magic. magic. That's forbidden. But? My mother says I have to be home for dinner. Jerry, your training will take days, weeks. Oh. Such a long time. Of course. True training in the magical disciplines, the study of the art of arts, all of this takes time. Just like everything. Everything takes time. Oh no. And even time itself is an object of study for magicians. He who studies time needs time. Then I probably won't be able to. But Jeff, listen to me carefully. Forget impossible. For a magician, nothing is impossible. On a day in summer vacation, anything is possible. I promise you that you'll be back in time for dinner. You carry a certain coin. What? How, how do you know that? Because he's been watching you. He's been stalking you for a long time. I, I at least exactly. since last night. It seems like I've always had it. Something is missing here. Don't worry, Jerry. Everything which is lost will turn out again. Amazing. I always used to practice my magic tricks with it. Look through the hole in your coin. Its magic power will grant you a new view of the world. Oh, that's what actually you'll cool. see is magical iridescence. From now on, the coin will show you what might be helpful in your training. To look through the magic coin and see things that are invisible to the naked eye, open the inventory and click on the coin. You can also press the space bar or the middle mouse button at any time. Nice. The coin. All of a sudden it tingles on my skin. Take good care of your coin. My magic will protect you from being forgotten. We're leaving this world. We have no time to lose. After all, you want to be home in time for dinner. You will need this. A hat. Yes. Jerry, do you remember what I told you? Uh, nothing is impossible. And soon it will no longer sound like a question when you say it. Okay. Wait. Okay, weirdo. Do you know this place, Jerry? Sure, that's your path to I am sure that you have sensed that this is a special place. Yeah, I tried to blow it open earlier, special. but the game wouldn't let me. Magic. It's easy to get lost in places like this. Uh-huh. Hey, I'm not a little kid anymore. Even adults? I'm 12. Do you sense something? I hear a, a rumbling. Use your coin, Jerry. Use your coin. <gasps> That's a large boy. Oh, man. A toad. It's I love him. Gigantic. The magic. Sorry I drew on your face, man. And grow, forgotten by time. But just as with any other power, magic too can be misused. Like the power of this portal tree. Then we intervene. We? The magicians. The we are the magicians. Work. We're the magic police, apparently. Um, I thought I was a magician's apprentice. Tree walkers? I thought I was a magician's apprentice. We tree walkers use magic portal trees to travel back and forth between different worlds. Cool. Different worlds? 
places, times, and possibilities form an almost infinite number of worlds. You will be trained by me in the tradition of the tree walkers and acquire this ancient knowledge of walking between the worlds. Uh, that kind of sounds complicated. Uh, it's quite easy, almost like riding a bicycle. Really? Uh -huh. No. At worst, it feels as if you're being ground to a powder between two contradictions. I, I Gross. don't understand. None of us do, but you learn quickly. That doesn't sound like it's very pleasant, like at all. Portal tree, what does Portal it mean? Tree. What does that mean? I want to go interact with that big toad. Reach deep into the He's adorable. Reality, so deeply that they exist in more than one place and time, creating magical connections. Some use these connections to move back and forth among the worlds. As do we tree walkers. Okay, but how do you use a portal tree? But how do you use a portal tree? This is where magic begins. Wow. Go through the portal, Jenny. From now on, casting magic and wandering between worlds will be an important part of your life. Can I go say bye to my mom? Because I will likely not be home in time for dinner. Isn't it dangerous? I mean, hey, whoa, unfortunate. Someone is entering the area for four nails. <gasps> okay, we're running. We must hurry. We shall ride the wind. We shall ride the wind. As we have always done. Let's fucking go, dude. Same animation, nice. Hey! Whoa! Okay. We are much smaller. <laughs> this still looks like the woods we have back at home. Only somehow. Here we are! We're so much smaller. Oh, hello there, little guy. But that's a, a with with a backpack. It's some sort the of animal. Farther we go oh, from it's the a mouse. Portal tree, the more clearly you will come to realize that we have left the world you know far behind us. Only the parallels here at the portal tree suggest a connection. Okay. Such as this wall. Follow me, Jeremiah Hazelnut. Oh, now I can actually go up the wall. No, I want to interact with the spider. Why show me the screen if I can't interact with it immediately? No. I promised you magic. Another world. Before you, Jerry, lies Mouse World. Wow. Wow. Here you will complete your training. Cool. Interesting that that is going? still and, and a rock. This world is more magical than ours. Its trees send their roots deep into the earth and create connections like the one we use to get here. Okay. This world will be the school. And its inhabitants will teach you many things. Oh man, but I still have two days before school. Then, once your training is complete, you will see the world with the eyes of a tree walker. So follow me, young hazelnut. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Oh, now we say wait. Okay, a little bit of artifacting there around the edges, because they're so small. Hey guys! I know this must still be overwhelming to you, but I need a moment. Just wait here, I'll be right back. I'm going to announce you to the town council. But I'm not... Uh, alright. 
I don't want to talk to the town council yet. What if I just leave? Wow. Being this small is really interesting. Who would have it thought is. that mice have towns? Well, hey! Okay. I, I promised I'd wait. You didn't promise jack shit. Fine. Oh, that's my journal. Nice. I meant to save. Save, please. Um. Hey there. Can I dance with you? Can we jam? Excuse me, but no time. Got to practice. There's a birthday party this evening at the Hairs, and I'm prepping to go. Well, hey. Okay. Play the frog by any chance? Yes. Super Squirrel Boutique for smart squirrels. Super Squirrel Boutique? <laughs> That's a funny name. Oh, really? So, what's your name? Me? I'm Jerry. I'm Jeremiah Hazelnut. Actually. And I bet you don't make drop dead stylish accessories? Um, no. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. You see? I'll just keep waiting for Plato and my package then. Oh, I'll bring you the package, you don't worry. My cousin Edgar, instead of standing here and thinking about how the crows will come back at any time, it just feels creepy. Oh, the crows are like a threat now. We were talking about the crows, I remember. Pudgy animal with umbrella. Are you a hamster? What a strange-looking squirrel. He looks so daring. Like he has a lot of stories to tell. Is that a daring? squirrel? No, no, not at all. Don't you see all these maps? What, what? Oh, so you're a map maker. Oh, hardly. I'm a traveler. Okay. Can Is I have those maps, though? this your first time in Mousewood? Oh, come and see me later at the barrack. Just walk up the ramp to the right of the town gate. Okay. Later, though, not now. A horn in the middle of the square. Maybe you can use it to call someone. Call the frog. A horn in the middle of the square. Maybe you can use Fine. Why did I have to find this stupid thing? Hey, bud. Um, hello? Is everything okay? Is there... Is there someone behind me? No. I've been, been haunted by a ghost. I, uh, I, I don't think you are. At least I don't see anybody. I can't see anyone either, but I know someone is there. You find one strange book in the woods, can't understand a single word, and then they stick you with a ghost. Isn't that just typical? I get all the luck. Okay. So he's haunted. Why do all these stones have faces? Is it just me? Or do these statues look happy? I wouldn't say happy's the word. A tree trunk cafe. It looks really warm and inviting. It, it seems does. like someone takes good care of it too. Okay. A clock. I don't see any hours or minutes on it. It looks like the mice's clocks only show you whether it's day or night. Well, I guess that's all you need. Yeah, no one has any sense of time here or urgency. Except that guy. That guy's freaking the fuck out. Something tells me I shouldn't ignore the Marquis' instructions. What are the instructions? Just wait? I promised I'd wait. Fine. Just leave and lose the chance to become a magician. Oh my god. In a hard to read school, the note says, Tension. My name is August. Yes. I am five years old. I li like to play piano. Thank you for reading. Bye bye. And then he drew a funny face underneath. That's cute. That's adorable. Do I have anything? Poster. Does anybody here know anything I don't about this? Put up any posters? Not even for the great Zaro. No, but I want to ask about it. Blue juice, tasty and blue, a quality product from the Wood Dwarves. 
Blue oh, juice. Me. There's someone behind me. Oh no, oh no. I'll definitely go there, but not yet. At least I don't see anyone. I can't see anyone either. You find one strange okay. book, and then they stick you with a ghost. Isn't that just typical? Can I have the book, and then I'll inherit the ghost? Do you want some rose hips? Rose hips are cool, but disappointingly useless. Okay, do you want the rose hips? Rose hips are cool, but disappointingly useless. No, you don't. Why did I have to find this stupid thing? Shut. Shut. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Maybe I can scare the shit out of him. Damn. I can feel it. There's someone behind me. There is someone behind you. It's me. Oh no, Creeping oh ever no. closer. Why did I have to find this stupid thing? Maybe there's something. At least I don't see anybody. I can't be fine. And then they stick wait, wait, just... wait, 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 wait. Can I see someone now? Oh, there really is someone behind you. Hey, guy. He left. Now he's gone. I knew it. Oh, lucky me. Oh, how liberating. What did the ghost look like? Mm, well, he had a pebble head, and uh, his arms were twigs and leaves. Really? That must have been a wood sprite. I didn't think they were real. You know what? Here, take it. Give me the book. Give me the book. I found it in the woods. Maybe the book belongs to the wood sprite. If you see him, you can give it back to him. That would make logical sense. Uh, I thought it was cursed or something. Yeah. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Well, the mouse read with it. the backpack gave it to me. It's yeah. full of writing I can't read. I wonder whether it belongs to that mysterious wood sprite. Probably ah, does. There you are. I have a Come, cursed Jerry. book. I want to introduce you to someone. Okay. Is it the town council who will take one look at me and then decide if they want to eat me or not? I'm probably very tasty. I am a 12-year-old. I hear children are delicious. Honored owl and squirrel. Ah, Jonathan. This is the rabbit I was just telling you about. Yeah. <gasps> oh, but, but that's only Dormouse. Nose. Eyes. Eyes that have seen countless worlds. Some say he knows no mercy, but <laughs> my parents say he was one of the first tree walkers. No mercy? I was not the first, but I knew him. Ooh the Marquis de Hoto. I was barely knee high to a grasshopper the last time I saw you. In accordance with the tradition of the tree walkers, I hereby present you my apprentice, Jeremiah Hazelnut. Hi, I've been an I apprentice am here for to five request minutes. Support for him so that he may learn the art of arts in these woods. Ah, magic, of course. I should have guessed that right away. So this nestling is a new magician's apprentice. Yeah. And we thought that- Go ahead and quiz me. I have so lost. much Ooh. knowledge on the subject, Lord. dude. Magician's apprentice, please hold your horse flies for a moment, Jonathan. Certainly not. Tradition demands that we immediately prepare the treetop festival. A new tree walker must be celebrated properly. Hell According yeah, to I'm tradition, ready. The apprentice must make the preparations for the treetop festival alone. Nestle, before your training begins, you must send out invitations and order the blue juice and baked goods for the The blue festival. juice! Precisely. <gasps> I love you blue speak juice. To Anya Mouse. She is the very best baker here in Mousewood. I shall wait for you here, Jerry. I'm interested in what's happened here. Mousewood has changed. Does that mean I'm supposed to run around out there all by myself? It's okay, we have a cursed <laughs> book. I trust that you can take care of yourself. You're it's 12. Still summer You'll vacation. be fine. This is your adventure, Jerry. This is my adventure. I have two days until school starts. It's my adventure. Um, Absolutely. Do you want to see this cursed book that I just found um, while you left me alone for two minutes? Stop, but don't step on the books. Shouldn't somebody tidy them up? That's what I'm doing. But Conrad's niece, Ursula, keeps mixing them up again. <gasps> Hi! Hi, little 
little girl. Very cute. Um, I have a cursed book. No, I'd better take care of it. Fine. Hey, Ursula. I always tell people the crows cause the mess, and Ursula makes sure that it stays that way. <laughs> so cute. I love kids. All right, fire. Warm. Warm. Poggers. No, I'd better <laughs> take care of it. Damn. This is very cute. A uniformed mouse on a, a beetle. That is a painting of the founder of our town, Magistrate Maximus of Mousewood. Maximus he is a hell of a name. created the foundation for our beautiful woods and the town of Mousewood. Okay. Moral foundation? The not intended for consumption pact, which decrees that if it lives and breathes, then it is not food. Oh, I see. So you must be a vegetarian. Uh, of course. I'm the picture of health. Ooh but I see. Plants also live and breathe. I wonder if there's a mouse inside. Nope. Empty. We can put an owl inside, see what happens. A table shaped like a three-leafed clover. The clover leaf has a special meaning for us. Okay, but why three, not it four? It symbolizes the cooperation oh. between permanent members of the Mousewood Town Council. Okay. Three. Our third member is Hannah Mouse. We have not seen her since the evacuation during the last crow attack. So shouldn't there be like a search party or something? I always tell people. <laughs> Great. She doesn't want to talk. You aren't allowed up there, youngster. Up Why not? There are the documents concerning the town, the law, and the constitution. You have to be a member of the community to see them. Also, it's possible to climb all the way to the top of the town hall from there. Really? So maybe you should keep Indeed. Ursula from being down there. Perhaps or up there, rather. Perhaps you decide to live in Mousewood one day. Then I will show you. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I... For some reason, I thought he was fully standing off screen. I didn't realize he was perched. Hi, Conrad. May I bother you for a second? No, I'm working. Really? What are you working on? Brain work. Brain. That means he's staring into space. <laughs> it does. I am thinking and planning. What are you what plotting? Plan? We must replenish our stores. A crow must have feasted in here during the evacuation. For months, our beautiful mousewood has been subjected to aggressive crow attacks. I'll definitely take care of it. I'm 12. Almost incapable of speaking. Ooh, a very unsettling situation. God, you are so fucking British. I'm out of here. All right. So there's this way. Let's go all the way back out. Never mind. Is that not the way that we came? I guess we can't go back and like look at that spider and stuff. Okay, let's go to the city wall. Hi, Gunner. Hello. Why are you up here? I was assigned to cannon duty. We had a big crow problem here. Well, have. We even had to evacuate the town. That's I heard about horrible. that. Well, it was. So if I see one of those horrid creatures, then kaboom! Kaboom. Usually they fly out the northwest. Okay. I have to keep my eyes open all the time. Even at night. Well, yeah, even at night. Pea shot. Paws off! Hey! The cannon has to be ready for the next crow attack. Imagine you need a all of them. like that flying right into the town hall. Again. Usually they fly out the northwest. I have to keep my eyes open all the time. Even at night. Okay. Um, would you like some rose hips? Rose hips are cool. Fine. You wanted to talk to me out here? 
Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Please, everyone calls me Spitzweg. Spitzweg. No need to be formal with me. Okay, Spitzweg. By the way, in case you're wondering, I was so slick. Oh, I, I didn't know that. The way you're fat, it looks like you're ready for some adventure. I'm an adventurer and scientist. Okay. And on my latest expedition, I will travel the seven seas to document the differences in their flora and fauna. Cute. Just look at all the maps in my backpack. The I was of trying to. Manifested in its subtlest, most delightful way in these loving records. Uh huh. Yes, I'm on an enormous adventure, and it begins here at home in our humble cold water brook. Oh, that sounds exciting. But why are you on your way? That much ocean must take an awfully long time to explore. Yeah, why are you still here, dude? Tell me about it. I wanted to complete the first leg with a traditional mousewood leaf boat. I ordered what? it from the Hedgehog Brothers. Oh, they okay. are the most talented and reliable carts people here in the woods, you know. All they had to do was float the boat down the cold water brook to me. But I've been waiting here for a while now. Say, you wouldn't happen to be heading for the pumpkin patch on the edge of town, would you? I could. If you could ask about my boat at the Hedgehog Brothers workshop, you would be doing me a big favor. No okay, problem. I'll ask. I'll take care of it. I'll ask. There's a tower. It just says, hmm. Okay. Town center. Can't do that from here. Can't do that from here. Fine. Go back. Let's go. Are you still practicing? Excuse me. No time. Got to practice a burp and I'm where? Okay, fine. Cafe. It sure smells good in here. It does. Kind of like herbal drops. So not so good then. Okay. Huh? Yoink. I'd better leave that where it is. Fine. I want to be a magician, not a key thief. A magician is Around the key here, thief. they probably sentence you to a thousand laps of the hamster wheel. Yeah, you can crush that easy. <laughs> you can crush that easy, so I can ding the bell. One hot coffee. Hmm, that won't work. Damn. Okay. Barrel with healthy cakes. Something's not right here. A whole barrel full of little cakes. And yet nobody's eating them. Strange, isn't it? These cupcakes are Uli's favorite. Made with herbs from his pharmacy. Try one. Oh, come on. Just a little nibble. Sorry, but I'd rather not play lab rat for the herb cupcakes. Lab rat? That's Is that kind of fucked up. Scientists where you come from? Uh, no. It's, uh, it's not important. Yeah, you should tell her about the fucked up practices that we have on rodents. You should definitely tell her all about that. She'd love to hear it. Tell her about our history. Cool mushroom. Hmm, the way it smells in here. The pots must contain dried herbs and spices. Okay. Hello, Mr. Mole. Hello. Good day, my friend. Wait a second. I know that voice. Ludwig Borrower is the name. Swamp Radio 103.6 R5. Mole in the morning, mole at noon, and mole in the evening. Right. Tutorial I mole. Heard you on the radio once. Yes. Unfortunately, the swamp path is still flooded, so I can't continue. Damn. I'd love to broadcast again. I've been broadcasting to the swamp ever since the crows pulled apart my old transmitter. Okay. So you're a radio DJ. So you're a radio DJ. Yes, unfortunately, the swamp path is still flooded, so I can't continue. I would love to broadcast. I've been broadcasting Swamp Radio 103, Mole in the morning, Mole at noon, and Mole in the evening. Okay. I've always wanted to be on the radio. I've always wanted to be on the radio, too. That's the right attitude. If you want to host with me, you'll have to be sharp. Sharp? Yes, just try to set him up so I can knock him down. <laughs> Raping like wit. Uh. Yes? I. Uh. What should I say? Oh, something funny. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> well, why did the chicken cross the road? Ooh, that's no good. That'll go down, believe me. Oh, okay. Try to come up with something more appropriate for our audience. I'll try again. Okay. I have to be going. See you soon. And remember, Swamp Radio, one with mole in the morning, mole and mole. Okay, so we need to come up with a joke. Got it. Oolie's nightcap, sleeping drops. It says a bottle costs one leaf buck. I don't have any leaf bucks, not even one. Okay, just take it then, Jesus Christ. Waste bucket. Empty. Damn. Extravagant. Okay. Hello. Who's old Uli? Oh, a dear friend of mine. See the picture on the counter? Yes. This little herbal pharmacy belongs to him. I see. So, is she out getting more herbs? Well, we haven't seen him since the evacuation. We've gone a very long time. Oh, I almost forgot something. Apple cheeks. Apple cheeks. One of Uli's painted to sugar free lollipops. For you. Oh, thank you so much. Free? I also baked Uli's herbs into some buns. I've noticed. But it turned out that nobody wanted them like that. I can't imagine why. Oh, I knew you'd appreciate Uli's herbs. Hey, they're a bit dry, but... Thank you so much. Dry? Oh, just have fun licking the lollipop and nibbling the cake. My little cinnamon bun. I will do that. Thank you so much. Never call me that again. There's a sign. What does the Roof sign say? Terrace closed. Danger of abduction by crows. That's fair enough, honestly. That doesn't sound good. Remember, there are no problems, only challenges. Thank you, Tutorial Mole. Okay. You don't want a lollipop, probably. That's Town Hall. Um, cafe is that way. That's outside town. We don't want to leave town just yet. Oh. Take the keg. Memo. We need more blue juice. Well, the barrel looks empty. Right. The tap can still be used. Okay, at least we took the tap. Okay, there's a gate here. That's the cafe. The mouse walks around totally lost in thought. It does. Hey. Hey, you. Hi. This is private property. Okay, damn, dude. Hey, you. Everything okay? <sighs> He's sleeping. He's hungover. Leave Both him alone. Me. Yeah, I can bring you some coffee. Uh, if I can take that cup. Somebody's shirking dish duty. I'm meditating. Okay. Damn, dude. Family garden. House. That's a, a lot, lot of, of mailboxes. Mailboxes. There's a lot of room in our house. And a lot of pears. We have even I wonder more why. than the wood dwarfs. Of course. There are only three of them. Okay. Can you wash the dishes so I can get a cup? That big flower is really interesting. Hey, what are you doing sniffing around? I'm just admiring the big pretty flower. <laughs> flower, rubbish. Jesus Christ. It's a half statue. There's the cafe. Maybe if I lock the mouse out, mm. it'll get into a fight with the hare. Or something. Hey guys. What's going Step on? Right up and admire the goods, uh, but make sure that your eyes stay in your head. 
Although that wouldn't be a problem, because we have outstanding glass eyes among all the things you can buy here at ridiculously low prices. That's not ridiculous weird. That's not weird at, at all. Church mouse and sun. Glass eyes? And much more. The traveling merchants, Church Mouse and Son, have everything you've ever wanted, will want, and will need. Even though you don't know you want it, will want it, or will need to have wanted it. You talk like an right. actor. I have a funny you should say that. Uh, but let's get down to business. What do you need, boy? Church Mouse and Son have everything. Okay. I'm looking for something tasty. Maple syrup cheesecake with walnuts? Even better. A mud pie with twigs and rocks in the shape of a heart. Mud pie? Ugh. Thanks, but no thanks. It's very realistic. Mud fans know what I'm talking about. Okay. Isn't that right, Junior? He'll be taking over the whole shop soon. And then Isn't I'll a mud a pie just well chocolate cake mixed together with chocolate pudding? Isn't that what a mud pie is? <laughs> He's shy, but a terribly good businessman. Okay. I believe in him really, really strongly. You hear? Junior? Junior's it's dead. so nice to know that your golden years are secure. Well, then take this one time only a small but exquisite promotional gift. Uh, a red thread for you. Here, uh, let me tie the thread to your uh, amusing round coin. Okay. Thank you so much for that. Way, will not be accepted as payment. Very decorative. Thanks. The high quality red thread I gave you uh, should lead you back to Church Mouse and Son uh, whenever you need exquisite things. Good things to know. of every kind. Pretty things, tall things, small Glass things, Glass eyes, for example. Things, bright things, filled things, spilled things, things with sugar, things with mud. Yeah. Right. Silly things. Okay. If you're looking for things, come to Church Mouse and Sun. But don't take too long. Soon I'll be handing my business over to my talented son so that I can retire to the Coconut Palm Islands. Your son looks like he fucking passed away. They're still saving up enough money for the He's trip. not breathing. Isn't that right, Junior? Junior? Thank you. I'll be sure to come in if I need... Things! Need things. Things. We have stuff, too. All right, things and stuff. Yeah, and junk. Things, stuff, and junk. Now you've got it. Cool. What the fuck is this? What a weird statue. There's a little stone face in the crystal. And some kind of amber thing. Hmm. I hear a fine sound. Very, very softly. Like someone flicked a glass. That was not a fine sound. Um. Can I touch it? What the? There's a little. Hmm. I hear a very, very. Like someone. No. Okay, so that's somewhere. They smell earthy. I like mushrooms a lot. Okay. Can I talk to Junior? Hello, I'm Jerry. Junior? Yeah, no reply. Like I said, Junior's fucking dead, Hello. dude. Junior? He definitely passed away. He's Step so right shy. Up the goods, but make sure that your eyes stay in your head. Although that wouldn't be a problem because we can't lost and you don't Okay, I don't have enough money. The high thing stop now. Great. Um mural. A sad human face behind Ivy. I wonder who painted that. You can see into the town hall from here. The old squirrel Jonathan has already seen me. Hmm. He's waving his cane. I think he's afraid I'll climb in through the window and walk all over his books. I'd never do that. 
At least, not while someone's looking. Yeah, not while someone's looking. Wow, the whole town fits under the tree. Any bird who built a nest up on a branch would have a magnificent view. That's not foreshadowing, is it? For the crows? Okay, post horn. Maybe, maybe you can use it to call. Yes, probably. Hmm, strange. And locked. What about the mailbox? It says, A. Molina. No advertisements, please. How mysterious. Okay. Are you the Hedgehog Brothers? How we are. How can we help you? I'm Jerry, Magician's Apprentice. Mr. Spitzweg sent me to ask about his boat. Ah, oh, Spitzweg's probably been waiting at the catfish barrier for hours. Yes, he has. our tools have disappeared. They were brand new. I bet there's a green hat behind it. Ah, don't be silly. Our dad told us about green hats. We were four years old. Even so, they run around the mask, they're invisible, they sting tools, and they open up drafts and cause you to catch a cold. It's a uh -huh. fairy tale. And all those little footprints everywhere, are they a fairy tale too? I'll take a look around for your tools. Thanks. That'd be a big help. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck was that? <laughs> nice song. One two teeth. Oh, somebody's there. A little green man with a hat. Hey, guy. I knew it. We've had a green hat in the house after all. Ah, may the snakes take me. Duddy cats and fly specks. Hail and mud puddles. He can see me, but not if I hold me breath. What the fuck? Okay. He went that away. What? Stop! Oh no, the thief is gone. I have to go after him. Go get him. The little man in green. There he is again. Ah, first at the hedgehogs, and now here. You've got yes. the wrong man. I've done nothing confounded, Billy's. Ah, I mean, go to the weevil, cursed constable. Stop running. Stop resisting. Come here. He's gone again. He seemed pretty angry. Yeah, he thought you were the cops, dude. They smell earthy. I like mushrooms a lot better like this than in mum's salads. Okay. Nice view. From here you can see the cafe and the city wall. The cafe, you say? And one of the mountains. Okay. There's a big fish flapping its fins at the bottom of the brook. I think it's waiting for someone to open the barrier. Where the fuck did he go? The little shit. Locked. Damn. Okay. He probably left town entirely. So let me go. Oh, he's here. Ha! The Shabra Clipper certainly won't find me here. There he is again. Stop. Ha! I'm standing on the Shabra. It's yes. Magic. It gives me strength. Does I, it? I can do whatever I like here. He got away again. Okay. Dunny cats and fly specks. May I be impatient, brat? You'll never get me shamrock. Alright, so I need to do something to him. I need to lure him onto the shamrock. It's a narrow little tunnel. No, just don't fit. Instead of following the little guy, I could try to block his way. Yeah. That was the thought.
There's not even one bee inside. But just so grab some honey. Well. The bees only just left. Do I have anything to grab the honey with? No. I can put the sugar-free lollipop in it. Good idea. The lollipop already looks a lot tastier this way. Okay, so now I have a honey-covered lollipop. I don't know how to block that guy's way. Um... Not sure. It's the town hall. I've never seen you here before. Nonsense. You came from here earlier today. Yeah? Yeah, together with a rabbit with weird red eyes. Well, I remember that one. I'm Jerry Hazelnut, magician in training. Magician? You? I might have bought that from your friend with the red eyes, but... Oh, why do I have to stand guard out here while you get to have fun? That's kind of fucked up. Hello. It looks like those stone eyes have seen a lot. They probably have. What's over here? This is where I wanted to go. Okay, I wanted to go back here. Look at this crystal statue. What a weird statue. There's a little stone face in the crystal. And some kind of amber thing. Hmm. It also makes sound. the ting noise. Very, very softly, like someone flicked the glass. Okay. Oh! I've been looking at these dewdrops and wondering if I could touch them. The answer and is another? yes. Hello, little spider. Whoa, that is a big spider. Holy yes, cow. the size of your head. As long as it stays right there, it can keep its pretty spider web. But the second it moves. That spider web is fucked. Okay, over the wall. It's much, much deeper than it is back home. Good thing I'm a decent swimmer. Okay. I don't think it's deeper. I think you're just smaller. I'm gonna be collecting dewdrops now. This is the game. It's dewdrop hunting time. Oh, wait. Damn. I thought I could try to talk to him. But I can't click on him. The little hair statue isn't so little here. Okay. Oh, you're in Mouse Wood too. How funny. How funny. Dewdrops? Yes. And I see another one in the foreground. Okay. Another one. Lovely. Another one. And another. How many do I have then? I should also probably save. It's been a while. Save. Is it in extras? No idea. No idea what the dewdrops do for me, but I will be trying to get every single one of them. Saw one up here. And another. Um. Were there any in here? I don't immediately see any. I don't have that dollar either. I'd better leave. I want to be a ma 
Around Fine. here, they probably sentenced me. <laughs> Fine. The door is now open. Hey. Hey, you. Hi. This is private property. Get out of my car. Uh-oh. Fine. Now I can't go into the garden. Fine. We won't go into the garden. But what? I can't use anything on the horn. I have a tap. My lucky coin. The marquee made it magic. But why does it have a string on it now? Are there any dewdrops in here? I don't think so. They're probably only outside. There's one. Another one. That would be a waste of a lollipop. Okay, do you want it? That would be a waste of a lollipop. Fine. Hmm. I wish I had a vessel to bring him coffee. Oh wait, do drop. Another one. But I don't. And another. It's the hair family garden. I'm not even sure what blue juice is. Or how I get more of it. That is a dewdrop. Another one. I wasn't sure if that counted as a dewdrop or not. That's definitely not a dewdrop. Wait, what's that? Is that a loose nail? Can I pick it up? It says A Molina. No advertisements, please. We can't How look mysterious. through her mail. Or their mail. Pick up the dewdrop. Another one. Not sure what to do with the dewdrops. Take the board. A lost piece of wood. It'll be okay. We'll find your mummy. Yep. Bring the tree part of its corpse, part of its skin. I thought crows were a problem here. Why would they build a statue to them? That is a fair question. We have an old fence picket. That one. That one. That one. This looks like, I know it's supposed to be orange leaves, but it looks like tongues. walks around to that guy needs coffee ah he's here there he is again you've got the wrong man I've done nothing confounded Billy okay he's, he's going gone back again. Then another dew drop, and I see two more. Another one. Another one. How many am I supposed to find? What do I do? Is it in bonus collection? I guess not. There's a card game, apparently. Um. It's 
supposed to block his path. But how? How do I block his path? I don't have anything to do that with. Maybe I can talk to the mouse when he's like in the cafe. Because there's a picture of them here. So maybe he'll have more details. There's a note hanging there. One of our guests left the cheese wheel behind. Since it's been here for three years, all guests may now help themselves freely. Kindest regards, Anya. Free? Super! Take some. Oh man, the cheese is rock hard. Damn. I know you're out there somewhere. Come back soon. I'll take care of your garden until then. Okay. He doesn't say I know anything. You're out there somewhere. Come back soon. I'll take care of your garden until then. There's also a place that I haven't gone. Can I use that would be a waste of fine. There's a way that I haven't gone yet either. If we go outside. We went out through the grass here. We did this whole bit. Are there any droplets that I missed? Not that I can see. Oh wait, it's right above me. There we go. And another. Um There's a way this way that we went by accident. I'm so hungry. Hello. Hold, who goes there? Jeremiah Ooh, Hazelnut. What sort of hideous weasel are you? Excuse uh, you. I just need to get past you for a second. Yeah, sure. What's the problem? No problem. Just pay 500 leaf bucks. Now. That's what it costs if you want to cross the cold water brook bridge. That's how much the troll costs. You mean toll? No, I mean troll. Leave the talking to those of us who don't make mistakes. But if we did that, the whole world might go silent. Everybody but me, that's right. Huh? And maybe my babysitter, Anya. She says I'm an extremely gifted child. I can stand her, more or less. Well, almost. But how can we possibly negotiate if I'm not supposed to talk? Fine, fine. 300 leaf bucks. Still 300 no. leaf bucks? Oh I'll bring my. you a disgusting cupcake. You must be a government official if you wield this kind of authority. Is there a magician's apprentice discount by any chance? Normally, magician's apprentices get financial aid. I have to cross the bridge for uh, educational purposes. Educational purposes? Discount? Be glad you have the opportunity to get through here at all. 300 leaf bucks, that's the fee. Pay up or stay on your side of the bridge. It's no loss to us. Hmm. You're also on this side of the bridge. You're so hungry. Little cutthroat. I can't get into a fight with a little kid. Yes, you can. I'm just too good natured. You are also a little I have to kid. Find a way to get over the bridge without dangling him over the side by one leg to teach him a lesson. You could also just beat the shit out of him. That works just as well. I see a droplet. Grab a big rock and chuck it at him. I wish I could. Dessert is always better when you eat it before the entree. No! What is There's the entree a droplet. For, anyway? There we go. Another I got drop. the droplet. When I'm big, I'll eat nothing but dessert three times a day. A group of animal statues. There's something written on the stone next to it. Talk to one another, deal with one another, uh, live with one another. In remembrance of the regular meetings held on this brook to reconcile the differences between mice 
squirrels, and other inhabitants of <laughs> mice, the woods squirrels, and other. I guess I would include me if I lived here. Oh, okay. Is there anything else I can interact with? Just the bridge itself, it looks like. I can also look at the water. The swift, cold, heavily babbling brook. Okay. You're hungry, are you? I'm gonna drug this child. Excuse me a moment. Um, where were the sleeping drops? Oh, I need a dollar for them, though. Fuck. How do I get them without paying a dollar? There's a coffee maker. Purple pharmacy. A sink. It's a radio. Turn it on. No reception. No We're reception. Well, yeah, you said that everything's fucked up. Okay, we can't go back there because there's the jackass over there who won't let us. Um. Stop. Yeah. We can't catch this leprechaun I'm yet. Match. I, I he got away again. Great. What else can I interact with on this screen that I have yet to interact with? There's a rake. Take it. What a sturdy looking rake. It probably belongs to the hair family. I can Come use it to beat hey, a child. Hey, you. What are you doing with our family rank? Oh, uh, uh, I'm just borrowing it for a moment. Last night, the wind blew all these leaves onto our lawn. Oh, yeah, all right. Oh, off you go. Those leaves aren't going to rake themselves. That's right. Thank you so much. We already got the tap off of the keg, so we can't interact with the keg. Did we interact with this half statue? What a strange statue. The upper half is missing, and now it no longer has eyes. That's unfortunate, especially if it turns out to be a real creature like that one rock that we drew on. <laughs> I can't do anything with the garden. Johnny Cockton? No, oh, shut up. Okay. I can't get in there because I'm too big. Quite round. The others too, but especially this one. Very round. The pumpkins here are incredibly big. On the other hand, I have been talking to mice and mice. Yeah, you are very the small. The pumpkins almost unspectacular. So we can't use the post use horn yet. It looks like wood. It smells like wood. I think, yes, I think the house is made of wood. Very pretty. Okay. Can I? Oh, fuck off. I keep having to deal with this fucking yeah, leprechaun. Shut up. Shut up, leprechaun. That's right. Run away. Um, I didn't talk to one of these mice. Hey, guy. Welcome to Massewood, newcomer. Your friend with the red eyes seem familiar to me. Here's some well-meaning advice from me to you. Stay within the town, all right? The crows are circling low over the woods today. Okay. Is there anything else? 
can't do that from here. Okay. What is that? A sticker. A sticker? Okay. Still no strange markings. To the cold water brook bridge, but it looks like gobbledygookies. It says to the path tree. How weird. We call it the same thing. It is the path tree, you're right. Hmm. Is there anything I can do here? Look at the wall. Let's look at this guy. Wait, I know you. Or at least someone who's just as lazy as you. It's a rock. Maybe I can give the child the lollipop. Wait, can I... I don't want to make the spider mad. And if the web breaks, it's no good to anybody. Fine. Pond, odd crystal. Have to wait for him to walk into the scene. Maybe I can give the child the lollipop? Do you want this? Oh, that smells so good. Is it a honey lollipop? Okay, I'll tell you what. You give me the lollipop and I'll let you go through. Just this once. Deliciously unhealthy. Actually, I think the honey made it even healthier. Can't be. Healthy things don't taste good. True. It's when a weird weasels like you are health experts anyway. Seems like animals can do anything here. I wouldn't be at all surprised by a weasel that's a health expert. Okay. And now we have a new way to go. Do drop! I see it. Is that a man with a pug? Excuse me, I have a dog to pet. Okay, first of all, dew drop. And another. And another. There's the field. I'd better stay on the signpost of trails. I'd get hopelessly lost in the fields. Mm. The but think of all the spiders that the are the size of your a head. Shower would do them good. Okay, let's go this way. What's over here? Oh, honey. Trapped by the fucking crow. What was that? That's an owl trapped by a crow that's gonna eat it. Oh no! Someone is being attacked by a crow! Hey! It's Ursula! It is Ursula. Um... Sorry, Ursula, I know you're in distress. Uh, Rake. That will make it even madder. Well, if you kill it... But that doesn't need a sturdy rake. Okay, just look at it then. Oh man, I think he's serious. We shouldn't get too close. But I have to help Ursula. You do. Chuck a cupcake at it. Well, if the pigeons in the park go for this kind of thing. Run, Ursula. At least Anya's cupcakes seem to appeal to birds. Now 
I'll kill it. That will make it even madder. Um. Maybe I should have put sleeping drop on the cupcake. That doesn't need a sturdy rate. No. Nope. Maybe I can flick the antenna to chase off the crow, but I can't reach the antenna. Okay. But you can with this. But that doesn't need. Fine. What about this stick? A stick won't help here. Okay. What about this? I'd better keep it. With Ray. I'd better keep it. With I'd stick. Keep it. Shit. It's an advert. Blue juice vending machine. Wait. This thing is huge. It smells pretty leathery. I yes. wonder who lost this. Can I take this? I can. The shoelace still looks quite useful. I'll take it with me. Take it. Can I use this with the a rake? Shoelace won't help. No. With the stick. A shoelace. No. On the antenna. Knock the bird out. Maybe I can use this. Gotcha. Drat. It won't budge. Well. Oopsie. Oh well, who needs that antenna anyway? Hmm, now I can throw the rope just like a grappling hook. I can. Um. Leave the little owl alone or I'll let you have it. Okay. I just Fuck off, to bird. Teach a lesson, not There, now you're in for it. Beat the shit out of it. That's right. That's right. Hey, buddy. No reason to thank me. I, Magician's Apprentice, Jerry Hazelnut. Glad I'm 12, by I the can. way. I saw everything. You're a hero. How did Not you get really. here? You're just like my friend Uli. How did you get here? He's... You were oh, just here. at the cafe. What is it? A flyer. A mouse has to make a living, you know. Okay, wow. fair enough. He said I'm a hero. He also advertised to you immediately. I'd better take you home now, Ursula. You can ride in my backpack. That makes so much she sense. Was still clutching a crow feather. Did Ursula pluck that from the crow? Yeah, she probably tried to fight it. The building collapsed. Looks there was like a fucking was bird on it. The ceiling and the walls. Yeah. Scary. Okay. Ugh, Berries. Can't reach them. Damn. Wait. Get the marigolds. What a pretty flower. I think I've seen it on the label of one of Mum's relaxation teas. Take I'll grab it. A bud to take along. Okay. What else can I interact with? Are there any more dew drops? Not that I can see. Empty. Ooh. What do you mean empty? There's a keg right there. There's only one keg of blue juice left. Looks like Mousewood is running out of blue juice. Hmm. There's only... Looks like... Okay, can I break it open? But that doesn't need a... St you don't know anything about Looks vandalism. Like all oh, it's impossible to stay mad at her for long. I think she feels really comfy in my backpack. She probably does. Hey, you aren't messing up my stuff, are you? It's impossible to... She definitely is messing up your stuff. 
Got a crow feather, sharp grappling hook. I better be careful with this thing. Fine. Add for the violin virtuoso lessons. Maxim Malsikov currently resides in Mousewood and is prepared to teach one, but only one, highly gifted apprentice the art of playing the violin. Interested parties, please apply. Hmm. Too bad I'm not very musical. Okay. If that's the case, I don't know if I can... That's the output tray. I have to put something in. I okay, do this and then take I it really out. Shouldn't do this. If only Mr. Churchmouse hadn't tied that thread to my coin. Oh, if the only. Is just too great. Yeah, you're right. The temptation to steal is just it too works. great. Like with the gumball machine next to my school. Uh, not that I would know. I've just heard things. Uh huh. The last keg of blue juice. And Get a it. Sticker. Did I get a sticker? Take a jug for some good luck. Okay. I don't know where that leads. We'll take a look at it in a second. There's snow, mail, bicycle. Um, is that a sticker? It is. Another one of those stickers. A sticker! Okay. What does the notice it's say? Written note. Beware, this is crow territory. For as long as it's unsafe by the river, I will be broadcasting from the swamp. Mousewood Radio, the voice of Mousewood won't give up. Signed, Ludwig Borrower. Too bad he has right, fully I given up at this up. point. Now the swamp path is flooded as well. I'm going to be off the air until it's cleared. The building is a shambles. I can't shake the feeling that the crows around here are pretty unpleasant company. What gave you that idea? What could possibly have given you that idea? The large river back there has burst its banks. Looks like everyone had to leave in a hurry. Yeah. Flooded path that's towards Mousewood. There's this way. Mushrooms. And this way. This looks like a little flight of stairs. But the mushrooms will have to grow a bit before I can climb the tree. Hmm. Then I can investigate why it's snowing up there. Okay. I don't have any growth potion at the moment. Wait, can I put this? Nothing needs to be tapped from there. Never mind. Okay. Let's go up this way. Why not? Why the heck not? <laughs> it looks interesting over there as well. And another... Okay. There was just a very fun guy over here. Another drop. Another drop. Locked wooden gate. And a notice. What does the note say? Quarantine. Our housemate Steinberg Woodwolf has come down with a terrible disease. Okay. He's grouchy and grumpy and in a really bad mood. And now he's also sick and coughing and sneezing. Do not disturb. He has Until COVID. the quarantine ends, we are going to camp out in the cold woods on the muddy ground. Therefore, we are also grouchy and grumpy and in a really bad mood. Yep. Production of blue juice will be discontinued until Steinberg recovers. Soft steel and logger, wood dwarfs. Okay, so they make blue juice. The great Zaroff, clairvoyant illusionist, coming soon to a theatre near you. When? I have one of those Where? posters. Strange. Soon and to a theatre near you. Obviously. The wooden gate is locked. It looks interesting over there as well, but I can't get across the brook here. Damn. How exciting. Too bad the gate is closed. Too bad you can't climb it, I guess. Um. There's this sign. What does this say? Private property of the wood dwarfs. Okay. It looks like that's all she wrote until we get a key for that. What's over here? Ah, nice. Misshapen rock with a pattern. What kind of stone is that? I don't know. Take it's it. Firmly stuck. No Damn. Idea what it is. Can we put something in it? K. 
keg of blue juice. I better keep the blue juice. Fine. There isn't very much. It looks like it was hit by lightning about a thousand years ago. Hmm. Somebody you need blue juice. Into its uh, dude, tongue. I love blue juice. Do you think it's anything like go go juice? Ah, uh, misshapen rock with a pattern. I don't have anything that has that kind of pattern on it right now. Let's go this way. What's this? Oh, wow. Okay. I can see the town from here. Maybe you can use it to call someone. Dude. I hate this. This man? I hate you. We have arrived. We will be the solution. Okay. Suspicious guy. Okay. Can I have whatever it is you're holding there, sir? Hugh. It looks like those stone eyes have seen a lot. Yeah, they have to look at this man. For a long time. Another statue. Another statue. Trail towards Mousewood. Front of Dwarf House. Okay. I'll be leaving now, creepy man. Oh? Wait. It looks like those stone eyes have seen a lot. Take some scales. It's all dry and shimmers in lots of colors. Sorry if that hurt. It's really light. I hope it didn't. Okay, it looks like I can't take anything else. Just talk to him. We have a way. Okay, suspicious. Hate that. Um, hit him. That doesn't need a with the rake. That doesn't need. Yes, it does. Also, I love this scarecrow. It's very cute. All right. Now we've opened this gate. Cool. How do we block the path? Um... What's the town center? Oh right, we need to deliver you back home. Um... Hey. I found your niece. Little Ursula? Ooh, ooh. A crow attacked her. Oh, ooh. How is she? Tell me. Oh, ooh. She's, She's fine. She's fine. <laughs> She's tuckered out, though. I chased off the crow. The feather shows me that you speak the truth. I thank you, Jerry. You are a true tree walker. That is what we call animals who help others in need. Oh. Good work, Jerry. I'm proud of you. Ah, uh, it was nothing. Okay. Now, I have blue juice. I better keep the blue juice. There Fine. There isn't very much of it. Fine. What, what's my to-do list at the moment? Okay, I need to get the leprechaun in order to help the guy get his boat. I have to deliver invitations. Anya might be able to help me. Okay. No, no, I don't want to start a new game. I want to resume the game. I'm so happy that it asks. Holy shit. Invitations. Where do I get invitations? That's Marquis. Interesting furnishings. 
Start <laughs> <laughs> New game poggers. Let's the go, dude. Of our community. Many of the town's workers prefer nuts as payment. Ooh okay. Weird. You're still dancing. You're still waiting. Um... Said Anya might be able to help me, but with what? I'd better leave that where it is. Why? I want to be a magician, not a key thief. Okay, Around can here, I... <laughs> Can I have this? Ooh, he's night sleeping. It says a bottle. Hmm. I don't have it, not even one. Okay. Can I just... <laughs> oh, dry tea cakes and runny custard. Well, I'm sorry that I uh... need help. Excuse me. Just a sec. Great. Hey. Welcome. Welcome to Hello. Oh. Um, that noise sounded dangerous. Oh, noise just now. That sounded dangerous. But of course. Dangerous and tasty. I'm creating something that no one else has ever seen. Something delicious. <gasps> Can I have an exploding cookie? Can cake be better? Trust me, sugar cube. It will be pancake testing. I want an exploding <laughs> cookie right now. I've Everyone met him. Thinks he's a nasty, spoiled brat, but he's because just he is under challenged. Poor gifted child. Maybe my new cookies will keep him on his toes. So he can throw them at people? As far as that um under challenged Humbert goes, have you found an interesting hobby for Humbert? Not yet, alas. Oh, too bad. Okay. Supposed to order blue juice. I'm supposed to order blue juice and bake goods for the treetop festival. Oh, is it that time again? How nice! I will bake lots and lots of cupcakes. And what Great. about this blue juice? I'm sorry, Sugar Plum, but you'll have to go ask the dwarves about that. They haven't delivered any in days. They live at the other end of the cold water brook in the dark wood. Do you have a key for it? Blue juice. About the. I'm sorry, Sugar. They haven't. Did they live at? Okay. I'm always asking. Oh, that's terrible. You poor pumpkin. Would you like me to ask you a question? Yeah, ask one, ask one. Hmm. Have you seen a frog on your travels? Big fellow. Really good looking. Uh. He usually drinks coffee here about this time, but he hasn't come in yet. Is he also and being I attacked by crows? About me. See you later. Take care. Sorry, okay. but I'd rather not play. Oh, right, right. We need to talk to her about lab rats at some point. Shiny fish scale. I better keep that it. isn't very Fine. much of it. Um. What the hecky do I do? I have a marigold bud. It looks like I have a bunch of potion ingredients, but I have no directions on, like, making a potion. Maybe there's something else I can do at the radio station? Hey. Hey, you. This is getting... Shit, uh -oh. sorry. I used the wrong door. Radio station. It was through here. Nope. Oh! Mail. Give me the mail. Are these your packages and letters? No, but I am responsible for them. But now my bike's got stuck here and there's nothing I can do about it. That means I can't deliver the mail. I've never been this late on my round. Would you like me to distribute the mail for you? Hmm. Her? 
You'd really do that. That was an interesting sure. noise, my guy. I'll be running to and fro all day anyway. Oh, that would be a tremendous help. Then I can garden a bike. You know, my delicate frog's legs are better suited for cycling than for marching through the woods. I'm sure they are. No problem. Consider the mail delivered. Great. Um, I don't have a match anymore, unfortunately. Hmm. The front wheel is frozen to the spot. Oh, can you believe it? But the weather has been really strange around this tree for the last couple of weeks. Yeah, and I can see it's snowing. It's even started to snow up there. Oh, I've got too much to do. But without my mail bike, I can't deliver the mail. Okay. Hmm, that's the same symbol I saw in my magical letter. The sign of the tree walkers. Maybe somebody left that here because there is a tree portal nearby. Maybe. I'll come back with fire. Probably. You're looking for mail, right? Package. The letter looks strange. It's addressed to Senor Molina. It's from M. Calavera, travel agent. Okay, so I can put that in the mailbox. To the charming voice of Radio 103.5. Okay. This package is addressed to Miss Edith Squirrel. The return address is Super Squirrel Boutique. Okay, that's the one to I'm Mr. looking George for. Mr. George Mouse Senior. I wonder what's in it. Alright. You. My package! Yes. Isn't it a super smart and drop dead stylish purse? It's very Everyone cute. Everyone will want to invite me to the theater now. Thank you. For you. you can buy yourself something stylish too. Thank I can you. buy the Already fucking sleeping drops. Pack. I can buy the sleep drops. Um you have fan mail. Special delivery for Mr. Burrower. Ah, my first fan letter. Dear Mr. Burrower. I am a long-time listener of your program. Mm, Intellectual control. Cheesecake. Cheesecake? <laughs> yes. Fan letter? What a fan. As thanks for your delivery, please take a small promotional gift. Take this wonderful mug and say with pride. I listen to Swamp Radio 103.6. Uh, five. Mole in the morning. Mole How do you at noon, keep fucking that up? In the How do you keep uh, saying point six? Thanks. All right. Um, I would like to pay a leaf buck for these Ooh, drops, please. Cap. Sleep. It says a bottle cost, but I only have one. One single leaf buck. Well. Yes. Use it. Now we have those. Now we take this mug, get some coffee. One hot coffee. Too bad Perfect. I don't like coffee. But I know someone that does. Uh, out this way. Oh, fuck off. There he is again. I'm standing at the I have to set a trap for that little shit. He got away again. He did. Um, coffee. Hmm. I'll give him some of my coffee. I'm awake. I'm so grateful to you. You look like you're so awake, Take my this. guy. Found a Quartz card. Without you, I would have been late for work. I, um... <sighs> okay. Great. Alrighty. Edge of town. <laughs> We have to watch him leave. Um, 
Um, and then take this, put it in this mailbox. You've got mail. Thank you. No problem. Okay, weirdo. Huh? Who said that? The void. And then this one goes to Mr. Church Mouse. Church Mouse. Okay. Should be here. Yes. There he is again. You can't. There's a lizard. There's a lizard. He's gone again. I just saw the fucking lizard. God damn it. Thanks. You're I've welcome. I've been waiting a long time for this. My language instruction package. A coconut palm island ease overnight on 30 cassettes. Overnight. I need to be well prepared if I want to retire there. Uh, are you waiting for something? A tip? A tip, maybe? We're church mice. We have nothing to just give away. Well, fuck you. All right. All right. Um, blue juice. Hmm. I don't have any invitations to deliver is the thing. I don't think sleeping drops will help me here. I don't think sleeping drops will help me here. You don't want to drug the entire town at your party? I should save, though, at least. It's been a while. Overwrite that save, yeah. Hmm. What else could I do? I don't have anything for the crystal statue. The great Zaro. I wonder if that was his stuff in the trunk. His top hat. Maybe I could use the rake? Like an old cartoon? Fuck, I'm gonna have to Stop. bring him here again if this works. I'm standing on a bit up. Yes, you are standing on a shamrock. This is just as simple as doing a rake trap. Let's see. Hmm. That's a cunning plan, and it might just work. It is a cunning plan. I'm 12. Okay. I have to chase him again. Is it here? No. Shit. Is it here? Not yet. Johnny? Yep. Yep, now he's running past me. You got cut. Okay. He's gone again. Here? The leprechaun will pop up at any moment. Yes. And then Oh good, the mouse is here to witness this. <laughs> Actual dumbass. Oh. At 
least he dropped everything. Okay. Get the tools. Nice. Off to the hedgehog brothers. They'll sure be glad to get their tools back. And then they can finish that fucking boat. Can I pick up the rake again? I can. Oh, I gave it back. Johnny That's nice. Some fly specks. They have been patient, brat. You'll never get me shamrock. I don't care about your shamrock. Uh, hello, mouse wheel. All oh, right, I had to wait for him to leave. I guess we're keeping a nail. Here is your stuff. I've got your tools. Terrific. But as long as the green ass is still about, I'm not happy about finishing building the boat. Me neither. Please make him go away. Okay. Um, that belongs to the Hedgehog Brothers, so I should be careful with it. Can I put the board here? No. No, I'd better be careful with the thing. Okay, so I can't board it up. Unless I can board this up. No, I'd better... I can. That's music to my ear. I'm sure that'll the stop him. The sound of our tools. Tunnel is closed. Okay. I've got your tools. Terrific. As long as the green ass may neither please my Do I need to fucking chase him again? Game. I have to chase him again. You've got the wrong con. I am the cops, you're right. Keep running. He's gone again. There he is again. Stop. You're I'm on the shamrock. You don't give a fuck about this? Grumpy garden owner. Yeah, run into the plank, you doofus. Run right into it. Ouch! Yep. Good one. Nail shot. Fine. Be that way. What a waste of a day. Ah, off home to warm her. Now will you work on the boat? Does he live in the tower? I've got your tools. Terrific. But as long as the green ass is still about, I'm not happy about finishing building the oh boat. Oh my god. Me neither. Please make him go away. Okay. The footprints lead to the top of the pumpkin. Hmm. Hold on. Is that a chimney? I knew there was something strange about it. I wonder if it's hollow. It might be hollow. Break his house. You! You! You destroyed me house! Smashed into tiny wee pieces in the blink of an eye! Ah, oh, what have I ever done to you? Oh, uh, I, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to? That was negligent vandalism. You're after me, cobalt, cobalt! Actually, I was just here about the stolen stuff. 
Oh, well, that's me cue. Till we never meet again, you snoop. Okay. And he's gone. This Is he actually gone? Frustrating. Has a green hat really gone? Oh, what a relief. It looks kind of sad when it's so empty. I was just trying to catch the thief, but I didn't want this to happen. It was a nice little house. Well, pumpkin. Pumpkin house. The spoon and the silvery lump are probably stolen too. You better confiscate those. It looks kind of sad when I was just trying to it was a nice well, pumpkin. Okay. Doesn't look like I can take anything else in there. Where is he? I think this chunk of metal is magnetic. Oh wait, that's awesome. Really heavy. I wonder where the little man in green stole it from. I don't know. It's over. The green hat is gone. Oh, the leprechaun oh, is gone. So relieved. It skips dialogue like that the sometimes. Spitzweg is ready. Ready to put to sea. And how do we get it to Mr. Spitzweg? Just give it a little push. Push it. Push it real good. Oh, but... Don't worry. The cold water brook will take the boat to the catfish barrier. Where Spitzweg is already waiting. Great. There's a big catfish there, though. There. We still have a lot to do. We need to get back to work. We still have to renovate an antique cabinet for our neighbor. Ah, that'll be fun. Oh, I love furniture. But make sure you don't sand too deep this time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm glad you guys are having fun. I can't take any pieces of pumpkin. Hmm, strange. And locked. Strange and locked. Okay. Maybe now I can talk to him some more. He was out this way. Hey, guy. Is here. It is. In all my travels over the years, I've realized again and again that you can find kind people no matter where you go. Just as long as you never give up and always travel with an open heart. I should write that down. It sounds like a motto for my journey. Now I can finally put out to sea. Way anchor. Set the sail. Man the oars. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, oars? Oars. We had better not set out rudderless. Water is much too unpredictable. You can't rely on chance to take you where you want to go. And to be sure your ship doesn't try to leave without you when you go ashore, you also need an anchor. But as long as the catfish is swimming outside the barrier, we can't even think about setting off. The world offers enough adventure. We don't need to go looking for trouble, you know. So we can't set sail until we've got an anchor and a rudder, and the brook here is free of loitering catfish, right? Yes. Yes, and then our great journey will begin. Great. Hmm. Or so we hope. Okay. Well, I think that's a good place to end for the night. We've been live for a little while, and we got a lot, bunch of stuff done. Let's just do a quick save game. Uh, nope, that's the journal. But we can... No, we don't want to start a new game. Jesus Christ, I keep doing that. Uh, save right here. Perfect. Thank you guys very much for joining me tonight. I'll be back live uh, probably in a couple of days. Not sure what game we'll be doing. I do enjoy this one. We might continue it next time. Might continue Sunday Gold. We have a bunch of stuff to do. But yeah, have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.